everybody, it's me, the Depressed Hollow, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys my very first successful PvP, PvE build that I think it's optimal. And, um, by the way, what I'm going to show you is not really final, for I'm only so level 100. So, if you plan on copying this build to meta level 120 uh, you can change some aspects of my stats feel free to do that and yeah so let's get right into it so here are my stats and mind you um, this is without great runes this is just normal with the uh, sore seal talisman effect so if you take a closer look it's obvious I am purely strength, vigor, and endurance. Now, um, I added one point only to dexterity and mind, so that way I can be a bit more flexible in some scenarios. And yeah, this is my stats. Let's go on with our equipment. Yes, this is my equipment. I have my heavy giant crusher, which is your main your main weapon. And the point the the objective of this build is to delete a player as fast and as efficient as possible. And I'll show you guys how that's possible because at plus 21 and 60 strength this fucking weapon is dealing almost 850 AR and mind you if you put determination it goes all the way up to 1357 but wait it gets even better I'll show you guys later how it gets better so moving on with our equipment we also have our heavy broadsword plus 18. Now, I'm still trying to look for uh, smithing stone shards, so this is subjective to change up to plus 21, and that's final. I do not want to upgrade max level because I don't want to end up losing uh, inactivity of players in the PvP aspect of the game. So why do I have a sword? Well, great hammers in general, they are really slow. They are so slow that anyone can reaction roll it. And Farge, uh, I don't think this thing can even roll catch someone. Um, so, unless you have a good Ash of War like Thunderbolt, but I'm using Determination right now because that's, that's like the whole point of the hammer, to one-shot someone. But I have this uh, straight sword because as much as possible, you want to apply pressure. So let's say um, you're going to hit someone and then boom, he's like a tick of health left. A tick worth of health left. Uh, using a straight sword can really help and benefit from it, you know, because it's really fast. And you can use Thunderbolt. It's really efficient. Um, you can use anything fast, really, uh, a scimitar, uh, a dagger. But really, I, I chose the broad sword because, one, it's a sword. It's really cool. And two, it has uh, this sword has really great scaling against uh, strength compared to other swords. So yeah. And for my left hand equipment, I have a crossbow and the great turtle shell. Let's go, let's uh, talk about the arbalist. Now, the arbalist deals physical damage only and that's fine. Now, I know you might say, hey, you have the thunderbolt. Why not just use that one? Um, well, you see, the Thunderbolt uses a lot of FP 
and most of the times I'm using those FP for my determination skill and I want to save up that FP the, th the crossbow is really helpful against passive players the most or mages who are really really casting really slow spells most of the times uh, the mages or the dexterity users the dex fags oh I don't, I don't think I should use that word I'm sorry anyway I don't think most of the times they don't have the poise uh, to be unstaggered by a crossbow bolt so feel free to to use the crossbow and they're gonna get staggered most of the times you can also use it to play defensively if only I can find where if only I can find where uh, explosive bolts are but as of this moment I have no idea where it is maybe it's in the round table hold so for the next equipment is the turtle shield for obvious reasons this is your standard uh, stamina region and the turtle shield is a stamina region shield it's also a pretty um, all right at plus 18 you have guard boost which is pretty dope uh, at what 56 um, that's honestly okay for small weapons like katanas straight swords daggers but uh, don't I don't recommend blocking heavy weapons with the shield if I were you just go to a higher uh, defensive shield and that would be way better so yeah I'll use this block with only you know for only small weapons and i choose parry because if you get one successful parry you're gonna one shot that guy like nine times out of ten that guy won't be alive after the parry um with the hammer of course you have to do it with the hammer so that's all my equipment let's go with my armor now I am using the Banished Knight Helmet, Scaled Armor, Scaled Gauntlets, and Scaled Greaves. Um, they are light compared to uh, what you guys are known me for wearing, the Champion Beast Armor. Um, but I, I, sadly I don't have enough endurance to equip all that. So I'm only choosing the ones I know I can bear with and that is the scaled greaves and the banished helmet I'm using the banished helmet just for the fashion I, I think I look really cool um, if you want I guess you can play around but yeah this is what I recommend just going under that uh, equip load so that way you can still fast roll or roll normally, sorry. I meant rolling normally. Now, um, where else, what else do we talk about here? Ah, my talismans. Oh yeah, by the way, um, for this build to work, I recommend trying to go above 55 poise. So that way um, you can hyper armor through a lot of things and you can passive poise through a lot of small weapons small weapons such as katanas swords daggers uh you can passive poise through them like i'm not kidding like there are so many times when i just heal and they're just swinging at me and i'm unstaggered as hell so yeah enough about armor let's talk about my talismans uh first up is the claw talisman this one enhances jump attacks that's why most of the times i do a jump attack that's like the only way you can one shot someone i mean sure you can one shot someone with a normal r1 if their health is bad but if you're fighting against a legitimate player who is really experienced in pvp you have to do a jump attack 
so far I was successful one-shotting a player with over 1,400 health, I think. I don't know if it's 400 or 500, maybe between those areas. So yeah, very important in the build. This is very important. Um, next will be the Radagon Sword Seal. If you guys don't know, this one uh, raises attributes by 5 at the cost of your defense. So basically, it's like a... It's like a... Um, how do I say this? It's like Prisoner's Chain, but way better, I'm telling you. The, the defense drawback, I don't really care. I don't see much of a difference, to be honest. I still find it really useful. I, I think the pros out, outweighs the cons, so I definitely recommend Radagon Sword Seal. If you don't want Radagon Sword Seal, you can use Radagon's Scar Seal. Scar Seal, sorry. Uh, but this one, it's like it only raises up to three, so I don't really uh, recommend it. Um, if you guys. If you guys don't want to use the Crow Talons, you can use the Green Turtle Talisman, uh, this one, or this one. This one uh, gives you regeneration, which is really, really helpful in the long run. Next, um, the Great Jars Arsenal. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. Without this, I would be fat rolling for days. You want to use the Great Jars Arsenal. This one will make you a tank. I promise. Like if I if I use a different weapon, like let's say uh let's say a Zweihander, I can probably equip the Bull Goat's armor. Oh I'm still fat rolling it. Um The Bull Goat's armor. But this all thanks to the Great Jars Arsenal. So, yeah, um, if you guys are wondering where can you find the, the the Arsenal Jar Talisman, you can find it here in Kaelid at the arena over here. I forgot how you get over there. If I remember correctly, you have to travel um, in, what's that name, in the Eternal City. And once you travel to the end, there's like a elevator, and it's gonna bring you up here to this, to this uh, grave site, and there you can just ride your horse all the way to the arena. So, um, we still have more to talk about. Where is it? Uh, there, Earth's Tree Favor. Now this is your Fap Ring. Well, technically it's the Fap Ring because it raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. And this is really helpful too. It makes you tankier. It, it, it just makes your life a bit better. So I advise using this talisman. Uh, anyway, wait. Okay, so um, enough with the talismans. Let's talk about playstyle. Yes, playstyle. So um, when you're using a really slow weapon, generally playing aggressive is not the way to go because slow weapons are very risky and very slow. Um, every time I play... Um, aggressively with heavy weapons such as this one I find myself getting backstabbed all the time so what you want to do is you want to play safe I'm not saying don't play passive or I'm not saying don't play aggressive what I'm trying to say is you have to know which attacks is your best option in order to come out free and low at risk so if you're gonna use my hammer like this one I would suggest using the running R1 since it has a better recovery speed than a running R2 or the jumping attacks 
the running R1 also has good tracking, believe it or not. Like, really good. Like, you'll see the play your player moving right or left on lock sometimes. And besides playing safe, you also have to learn how to bait. Now, going back to the running R1, this is your go-to move in a neutral. Most of the times, you're gonna go back and come at you to whiff punish you. Now, once you're gonna do that, that's the perfect bait to jump and do a jumping R2. I'm not telling you to jump forward. Well, it depends if the guy is far away. Yeah, jump forward. I'm telling you to just jump straight. The, the jumping attack is still really strong. Believe me. Even if it's just straight, like you don't have to move around. This will one shot someone. And it's really cool. So um also you can f pressure them with your great hammer by just running into them. The great hammer here has really good uh guard uh rating. Like against swords. Uh, this is a good shield. Like you can even guard counter with this, and it it works. It it, it works. I'm telling you. Just believe me. It works. Um, if all else fails, you can always play really defensive. That's the time when you start backpedaling. You pull out a crossbow. Punish people who tries to heal. Punish people who tries to uh, cast a spell, etc. etc. Or you can change playstyle if you want to play more aggressive. You can bring out uh, your shield and the sword and be the normal uh, swordsman, like as usual. And it's really helpful. You can rely on your sword's um, Ash of War. I'm th in here, I'm using Thunderbolt. And yeah, you have plenty of options. Uh, when you're using this build just remember when you're using the hammer don't get too cocky or else you're gonna die trust me so to recap here are my equipments here's my armor here's my talismans and here are my stats oh if you guys are wondering what my stats look like without radagon sword seal um, here it is. I'm soul level 100. And yeah. That's really it, to be honest. So, I think that's gonna be all for today's video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. Uh, I'd appreciate that. So, that's it, I guess. Goodbye.